Hi, it's JT Walters, Indian River County Fluid Artist, and I want to show you, I shot a video last night, totally at the ceiling. These are uh, um, Folk Art Color Shift. A lot of people have been using these, so I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see it because the light's not real good, but they change colors basically on based on how the light hits them. So anyways, I'm going to do two little 10 by 10 canvases. With these, I could not get the colors I really wanted because the art store didn't have them. So I'm just going to have to work with what I have. So if you're underwhelmed with my artistic talents, let me tell you that I live with that every single day of being un under underwhelmed with my abilities. Okay, so I'm just going to like basically pour this over here. And up to here and I really have like no plan at all really except for I really like the green a whole lot I should have put my gloves on and I have no gloves so we're just gonna wing it without gloves okay then I'm gonna put some teal in here this is teal or turquoise I'm not certain we've got some holes in here to fill so let me go ahead and put that down underneath. I really don't like the the part where it's just all clubbed together. Um, then I'm going to put, I really like the green. But I like the purple even better. And I'm going to basically do the purple in streaks this way. I really do like this purple a whole lot. Put the purple in here. Guys, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Every single time I hit this, the canvas, it's an experiment. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I really have no idea whether it's going to turn out okay. Um, I hate to waste this paint, though, because it is pretty paint, especially when it hits. But, you know... This is an experiment. We're doing a, a fence and I'm working with fluorescence and phosphorus paints and I'm also working with like glow in the dark paints and I don't know, phosphorus paints um, are glow in the dark paints. And then I'm trying to, this is actually a clear phosphorus. So let me just add that in there and just put some in here. See if I can drag it through and see if it'll stay. It may not. It may have a different viscosity and it just may go right off the canvas, which is fine. Um, so anyways, I believe this was January's challenge. I'm, I'm not certain. I'm, I'm usually a challenge behind everybody else in the world. But I figured if I did two canvases side by side, I could separate them and they'd look pretty cool. So I'm going to put the black. I was told to use black because... When you drag black up, it apparently makes these colors really stand out a lot better. I did a painting last night. Actually, I did two paintings. Actually, I did three paintings last night. Well, one was a touch-up. Okay, so anyways, guys, this is my tool for $3 from Home Depot, where you pick this up, the black part, and you lay it on here, and you just drag it right through here and see those cells pop. Woo! And we got some mud. Okay, let me. I love painting in black, and then I hate painting with black because black does really make the color stand out, but then black really is messy to paint with. So I'm going to do one more drag. See if I can drag it up one more time. I really don't want to drag the whole thing up. I just want to drag, like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to drag any more up. I'm unhappy with the side being uh, messed up. You know, the side not carrying the color there. That's not thrilling for me. It's going to need to be touched up for certain. Look right through down here for certain. 
that's going to need to be touched up a bit. But overall, in general, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, this part right here, let me touch this up first. Now, see, that's easy to... That's easy to go down and touch up on the side here. Great cells on this. Really, really, really awesome cells. Cannot complain about the cells at all. I'm supposed to be doing Lord of the Rings this month and I just haven't gotten to that yet. But I will. It's, it's on my list of things to do. It just... You know, I only have so many paintings in an evening that I can do. So anyways, that's basically um, the color shifts. They're really pretty. I don't know how it'll turn out as far as color shifting in the dark um, when, the, when it's dry. I'll, I will have to let you know. So anyways, this is uh, JT Walters, Indian River County Fluid Artist. Thank you for watching my video. And have a really awesome night. This is um, this is just using makeshift paintings, and so thank you for watching.